was 2011. I lost it all. I lost my apartment, I lost my car, I even lost my girlfriend. Before you knew it, depression hit. And one thing for sure, it wasn't cute. Fast forward, 2021, I started over again. And that was all due to change of life. I had an opportunity to work out of town. I moved to Kibuya and changed my life. I was a city boy, Dika Muji, and all of a sudden, everything changed. I went through it, but still, I prevailed, and I'm still dealing with it. Rewind five years prior, I met somebody. I met someone, and the same night I met her, I was told her story. And knowing what I've been through, I imagine what she went through. For a very long time, I was curious to know her story. And today, you don't have to be, because we've got her in studio. Bekeza. Hi, Simba. How are you doing? Good. Good Doing to have great. you. It's good to have you on our show. Thank you so much. So, Keza, mm -hmm. to someone who doesn't know who Keza is, how would you describe yourself? Keza, Keza, Keza. My name is Keza. Mm -hmm. uh, born and raised in Nairobi. Uh, have four siblings. I didn't even know that. Yeah. I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah. And uh, we moved back to. Rwanda after the genocide uh, against Tutsis. That was 1995. I was a happy child. Mm -hmm. And to say who I am, it's very, it's, it's very complicated. I'm a lot of things. But one thing for sure, I'm a fighter. And I'm not a victim. I'm Definitely. a survivor. Definitely. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm life. So, you know, um, talking about mental health, I went through it myself. And as a guy, I thought I was tough, you know. I was, you know, doing it all well. And then I heard your story. I heard that it wasn't just depression. There was something else to it that you're also dealing with. Mm -hmm. how, how, how did you do that? I think mental health has a lot of um, corners or rooms. I like to call it, it's like a house. And it has a lot of rooms. How did you get on the corridor? Oh, you're okay. You're walking straight. Yeah. But then... There's uh, corners that hit you and it just gets you there and you just stay there. So for me, it was different because I never actually thought about mental health. That's in 2015, 14. It was a stigma around mental health. Yeah. You have mental health issues. That's very wrong. Yeah. yeah, that's very wrong. Mental health is about your health in your head. What's going on in your head? Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter what you have materialistically the job, the family. No, it's how healthy are you in your head? How yeah. is your thought processing? Mm -hmm. So for me, it hit me twice because it was about my, my body as a, a, a sick person. Definitely. And, as, and, uh, and that sickness is a stigma. You know? Yes, and even cancer that, is a stigma. Yeah. When I talk about it, it's not easy. But for me, it's just it's, it's, it's a disease. Of course, it kills. It's like any other disease, but it's, it's a horrible disease. So mm -hmm. I went through it from my mental health of being wondering why me and my body was going through it. so it was just like a double take of yeah yeah and so, uh yeah, yeah. it was tough so you know like what i always wonder like I, like i had i had some rituals that i had to initiate for me to get through what i was going through mm -hmm. and did you have any of those to help you mental made me feel horrible about myself like i felt like a failure i was at the mm -hmm. low you know but, Called it rock bottom, you know, and so I had to start like doing some small things to make me feel good about myself. You know, like yes. I wake up, make my bed, you know, uh, make breakfast, go for a run. Mm -hmm. What is it that you did that helped you to feel or to fight that battle? So first of all, when I was quite sick, I didn't, I didn't really think about mental health a lot. I was fighting to survive, mm -hmm. and then I stayed in that survival mode of. I have to, I felt like my life is about survival. Mm -hmm. But then I reached to a point where um, I'm no longer fighting to survive. But I couldn't adapt to live this good life. Mm -hmm. You know, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's an example. You stay in uh, Gukodesha in Zoo. And then when you buy your own house, you should rent. Yeah. Yeah. So I stayed in the survival mode. But then I, I, I learned how to adapt to all is well. 
everything is okay. So I would wake up, make coffee. I was not living in Rwanda, but I started embracing every other thing. I would make myself a cup of coffee, sit, stay still, drink it, uh, meditate, talk to myself in the mirror. Like you survived yeah. this, you can survive this. Like literally uh, telling myself this is going to be okay. So it's the, the smallest, as you said, making yeah. your bed. Yeah. You see now what, what my um, curiosity is. Mm -hmm. What I I was only fighting with one. So when I'll do that, when I'll make my bed or go for a run or do, I will actually see the results on me. You know, like you're getting fit. Yes. I'm working out. I tell you, man, you see your body transforming. But with, with you now, like even on the inside, yeah. it's the sickness. Now you're consumes It consumes you. Yeah. How do you, how strong are you? Ah, I, I hate, you know, I hate this, but this is my motto, actually. Yeah. I say, they, 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 I, actually, I usually say, you never know how strong you are until being strong the is the only, only choice yeah. you have. Yeah. That's the only choice I had. Yeah. I didn't care about getting fit. I didn't care about adding weight. I didn't care about anything. I just wanted to survive. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter what's, what's going to happen. Even without seeing the, the instant results yes. and gratification. For me, my instant results became mentally and yeah. emotionally. Yeah. You know, physically, yes, but mentally and emotionally, I was um, actually cancer first kills you in your head. Mental you don't, health. it yeah. takes you, you don't from die immediately. Day. Cancer yeah. first kills your hope, your faith, everything. You're surrounded with people, you're surrounded with friends. Kind of any yours. Yes, so, but you're dead yeah. completely. Yeah. So I was fighting for my mentor to know we are surviving this. This mm. is not going to kill us. Mm. And then my body came later. But I was fighting to, to keep the faith. To keep to keep the bad thoughts away, you know mm. the failure thoughts, the failure thoughts that you had. Yeah. I had, uh, you're dead, you're dying thoughts. Mm. So fighting the thoughts was keeping the positive. I I, I like to say yeah. I can choose light, Changa can choose to. To dwell in the well, darkness. darkness yeah. So I always fought Kujamuni light. Mm. That's how it actually, you know, made yeah. me. So were you heal. getting any support from your entourage, Changa Baba mm. they Absolutely. Will, they will encourage you and not talk you down and say have like positive, you know. I had some few people talk me down, but I didn't give them that chance. Mm -hmm. But I, but um, emotionally, uh, I was really supported by my family, my friends. It was it was a beautiful thing to watch, even though. Another thing is that na support because of what we're going yeah, through. Yeah. You know, but still support was really there. Okay. But sometimes but you, to, you could just yeah, you, know, you yeah. feel like it's. But for you to recognize that support, did you evaluate yourself and know like I'm going through this and this is what I'm gonna need to get out of this, or you just were in the in the, in the dark. I actually didn't know I needed that support. Mm -hmm. But until, you knew what you were going through. Yes, I knew mm -hmm. what I was going through. It was mm -hmm. horrible. It was scary. And I'm one of those people who will not say what I'm going through unless it shows until I'm going, I'm done mm -hmm. going through it. But in that case, I had to share it. I had to say I'm hurting. Mm -hmm. I'm scared I'm going to die. I'm, and I had really a special person to share it with. So yeah. he could just listen and he could recognize that uh, we're scared, yeah. you know? But on that point, you know, like I speak with my friends mm. and sometimes also keeping it in, going through it on your own and then talking about it once you're done is also, can also be a problem it's that terrible. keeps you, you yeah. know, in that, in that um, problem. So people who are not, let's say who could be going through the same, um, you know, issues that you went through, what can you what can you advise them to do? Right, there's you don't trust anybody to. It's not even about trust. See, but there's when I could go through something, but I don't have the words. Mm. I can't tell. I can't because I don't want the reality to hit yeah. that this is what I'm going through, yeah. and that's when actually depression hits mm -hmm. because you're going through something. Probably some of your friends can see it or not see it, but you have no words to say. Yeah. I'm losing it. I'm losing my job or I'm losing something. So, right. Ndiwa zako insinzi ya mbeni mumutwe. Yes. Ubashishe kubimenya, ukabi, 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 dilinga nabji mumutwe. Ukabi accepting. The body follows. Yeah. But that's the most 
hardest part maybe i don't know like you said in a situation you had uh, people close to you who were you know very positive and very encouraging um if i look back at my my situation i was you know i was a young man single i told you i'd lost my girlfriend um and yeah i went through it pretty much by myself you know until uh and then i realized what i'm going through and i said you know what um i need to seek help but in the most coolest way because you know the stigma of being a man is going to be tough yes so uh, i had to find great men who 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 we spoke and started speaking to me you know giving me those word of encouragement of affirmation and encouragement ariko kwa namagamba kugira nawo gakuramo kamwe kamwe ndende ukiyevaluating ukareba nzahera he nzakora iki and is this uh, there's an uncle of mine who told me that um in order to 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 get different results you got to do things differently and that's when i started Absolutely. i said okay it hit me it hit me and i said okay but it wasn't just as easy as he said it you know arakubwira mm-hmm. gutyo and it makes sense mm-hmm. but once you start doing it your body has been programmed by the situation that you've been through for so long that it follows it like it cripples you it, sometimes you wake up and, and 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 feel you are used to waking up and taking your phone and yeah being in your bed for two hours you know and it seems to be the norm or or, or the issue that even everyone else is going through it yeah. what advice would you give them there's the there's days there's mm. really bad days i had really bad days like i couldn't get out of bed mm. and i want i i and i shame myself yeah mm. i shame myself i'm like hey, how can how can you not get out of bed and at least take a shower or even get something to eat because depression actually or mental health it's not a joke as people think it is it it's doesn't a it doesn't a, mean new aburi new aburi new aburi hey hey i don't know mo utunza my charge nga origin i it does not care you yeah. know the yeah. more serious we're going to talk about this the more um easier it's going to take for, for youth for yeah. our kids yeah. to come and say i don't feel good like i feel like there's something yeah. missing sometimes there's nothing missing sometimes it's life overwhelms you sometimes there's just you need a break your yeah. fatigue but the the i think this um the most horrible thing i did to myself was shame myself you know i shame myself like how dare you how can you not wake up how can you not pick up the phone call from your friend how mm. can you not and you will just stay in that you know uh, darkness until for a long time but mm. then i started doing as i said i started doing that little things lit simba ngabyuka kajenda for a walk for 10 minutes when you're in garuka Mm-hmm. and i thank myself for that i'm like hmm, you did well today and it's just little things if you feel like you're forcing yourself to do something just don't yeah. stop yeah. but it's the it's the little things and then it becomes a, like a behavior routine uh if i did not pick up the, your phone call and i'm going through it i just send you a message hey how are you simba i'm sorry i didn't pick up your phone call after you later utulumutumutumutumutumutumutumutumutumutumutumutumutumutumutumutumutumutumutumutumutumutumutumutumutumutumutumutumutumutumutumutumutumutumutumutumutumutumutumutumutumutumutumutumutumutumutumutumutumut
it's for humans, for all of yeah. us. And then we can express it differently. You know, you guys feel okay because you've been groomed to do so. And yeah. we've been groomed so not to. cry. Yeah. But uh, in my fight, you know, trying because, I mean, I went through it even like now. I'm actually... When we saw so come on and I yeah. still and I still recognize it. I still remember what it was, you know, I was going through and stuff. And I would like to tell the next person that, you know, you can't have a successful life if you ignore the inside, the you know, and only inside. pay attention to the, the outside. Yeah. You know, you know how they say that uh, male are physical beings and you guys are emotional. That um, is really, really wrong. I don't agree with it, and I saw it. I saw it. Now, before, I, you know, I used to believe that. Before, and did you think you guys don't have emotions? Or maybe you have it, but then you suppress it. Yeah, I didn't think of it that much. Mm. But I thought that you don't express it openly. Or you don't just talk about it like that, you know. And sometimes you have to confine in a, in a girlfriend, you know. And then also you're not that, Getting, very, yes. yeah, you're not going too deep. No, no, ni Yes, and then you've just got another bit of quick chamo, muri wowe kandi kubi kubi. Fashion was open to you, so that's us. Hagani, talk to women, talk to guys, and some guys were were supportive where they would say, Yeah, you know, I know this, and um, I've been through this, I did yes. this, and some others were like. Tough enough, man. That is not correct. Yeah. So, starting to address that and starting to exploit that inner me. I mean, if you talk about faith, you don't see faith. If you talk about hope, hope. If you talk about love, emotions, trust. love, you don't see it. Yeah. So if you don't groom it and ukabire na nabiyo kame nyuko no udilinga nabiyo, iyo uwe nabiyo rubiyo na nabiyo bi kuata. You don't know how to. To manage it, yes. you don't know how to, mm. yeah, control so, it. Yeah, so me, so I don't know with 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 you guys, with uh, ladies, it's easier in the sense of not easy at all, but in the sense of mufatin gamba zukutani ya kuwa nabi ku kuiz prima gutani ya kuiga ni raho gu seeking help. Did you seek help? Did you go to a psychologist? I did. Or? I, did. I, had you did? A, I had a therapist. Yeah. Really? Right after. Yes. I've never been, but I wanna go now. You should. I want to go. It's really great because I think whatever that hit me later, it didn't. It hit me after I went through cancer, but whatever that was hitting me was um, before I even fell sick. Mm -hmm. You know, so I had a lot of things that I did not deal with, and then when cancer kicked in, now that was like a, a bottle. Yeah, Mazi, I don't know It was just like it's time. We have to deal with it, and I had to seek help. For like, I did actually a therapist for like a year. And um, yeah. When you talk to a psychologist, we just like two person or one by each, books is a good thing. We can't Oh, yeah. It's, you know, like, imagine meeting a stranger who will not, stranger? Should I call it stranger? I don't know. Who will not judge you? Who will not judge you? Who will not judge you? Who will not what are they going to think? Yeah. And that, yeah, yeah, stress, anxiety, yes. and depression. Yes, and you can the I think within our society, Kuko, and we don't, we don't realize it. And I think um, when I went through, what I went through, I think you could evaluate it. I know you could say, Bivahe sanga rimwe na rimwe mu tuntu cyane hari cyo sanga bitewe no kuntu nyine ukuntu tuganira ukuntu cyangwa se aho tuba twe dufite societe ntoya ntabwo 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 ari nini nk'ibindi bihugu binini cyane and then today we say that ariko mwibwe abanyarwanda buravuga and honestly it's not twe bw'abanyarwanda it's everywhere abantu bose kirimo mu muntu aho kiri kiravuga ntabwo actually tuvuga exactly no, no, we no, could that's be a healed society to Vuk. Yeah. yeah. But we're not. Exactly. We're wounded. Exactly. But the thing is, what I think is because we don't talk because it's small. Yeah. Usanga Kenshi, Ninja Kuvuga, Havuga, Wani, Chiwazo, Changunde, Mere, Changuan, Chi, Nima, Nubundi, Biwujende, Mujero, Changos Vijirinahand. 
cyangwa se n'igihe usanga ari ikintu kikubayeho kitagutegutegutesha shema yes cyakwa embarrassing na for example i could say i could say um maybe my wife or my girlfriend she don't me and i call her red handed ariko mm. njya kubibwira the next person nange zanse kaza chishanijisha subundi mm. wowe so i hold it within me bikanyita yeah. ngenyine but also because we are a small society sha kugera bigaturika ngo zindi bindi i need to let it out yeah. ayimo bwira kayimo bwira akabwe nawe bikaza kumuremera akabwe the second person the third person because agaruka byangeraho byangeraho bita binyica kabiri bimbabaza kabiri and then you start thinking but it would have been better if i kept it inside you know, myself have you human have you like the therapists will not say anything hmm. therapists do not say we need actually we need more therapists in Rwanda uh, we do I it's think so. it's new it's going to be new i yeah. mean i have never spoken to one have, and my only problem or my only issue mm. i believe we do but my only issue now with that is um was i still have trust issues like i was like and i still think are they going to keep it themselves as well they are they going to keep it to themselves it's a code of conduct you have yeah. to keep it to yourself have to or be professional. Yeah. if it gets out then they lose their license and that's a huge thing yeah but a, a therapist i think it's one of the one of the great things that can ever happen to our youth But you know I think a long term solution could be talk yeah and making it the norm or know? maybe having a group talk yeah to kana byaka cyaki ya ya stigma na 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 ya power yo kugaruka bikamba baza nka bivuga mvuga it's out there if it comes back it doesn't i don't care yewe yeah. naruhutse byamvuyemo so how do you, how do you do that you know what gets me chane no kumva ko usually but you social media can she i go you would have go are depressed cyangwa se uh, someone took their life because they were depressed and they had mental health issues it ikintu cyambe wete was we say era was iki you know so we literally go from 0 to 100 yes who was he as a person what was he going through to what did he have materialistically ya modokai ya nzuye Uh, to do with that. Uh, it yeah. does not have anything to do with that yeah. and until we understand tumaze kuona abantu like may you rest in peace twitch yeah twitch yera fiti bintu byose abantu bavuga ngo urabifite a beautiful family abana arabyina akora na LMG generous akora amafaranga meza at the end of it all he ended it because yeah. when it's not okay up here it will never be okay Yeah. Ever, everywhere and whatever that is surrounding and you. And they probably think taking their life is the is the, is the It's a selfish the most selfish thing that can ever happen. Yeah. I don't No, but I'm so. saying the people who do take their life. I'm sure they think is the most the it's it's easier or better that better than, than being a burden or maybe sometimes when they don't take their lives they can take maybe the whole family or something. But that's sad. That's horrible. Yes. Yeah. That's horrible. So depression does not mean it's something that I'm missing in my life or something that I have in my life. You could be living on an island. That's an example of me. Beautiful. Waking up so, to an ocean. So now my thing is how do we or like how can we prevent even getting to that point where we normalize we what we what we the stigma and the taboos. Mm-hmm. We break them down. We don't have to get to a point where I even consider taking my life we no. have to know see we have to go under the rocks and realize depression yeah. what causes it exactly it doesn't have to be he lost his job he's lost his wife he, no it could be mm. you just you're not okay it's a disease it's a horrible disease nature is okay you need support nature is a you see we are we are we are young society you know mm-hmm. nature is a yuko um depression can come also from the way we live life you know yeah. the old ways Maybe of how we use up. to live life hari yes. bintu bitajyanaga ni gihe tuvuyemo tugishaka gukora cyase kugenderaho uyu munsi abyo dutera your depression for example if i can uh, state a few uh ngiye tukavuga mu kanya i'll tell you a story hari 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 bintu byezwe usanga bitumuntu cyangwa se umuntu ukunzwe umuntu ugezweho bamwita the receiver not the, the, the receiver not the sender 
so wo urumva ukabone ukabone ibintu by'abandi kabuki ako nibwo kuvemo for example you know um i live in kibuye hari abantu nyine baza mu vacances ma weekend whatever and then there's always references no man i have i have i have peti yangu hariya umuhamagara umuhamagara ragufasha and bikaje ndagutyo call me i help you i help you i see things see this see that yeah you know and then he's a receiver not a sender whatever he sees that's and then you keep it in keep it in keep it in keep it in ariko nange za araho araho bigera nkumva meze 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 nkaho ipaki umucanga iri kumanuka yes za ntu za hariya za za kamonye and there will be a time when i enter like marshalier nange nka benura nka mirongo umucanga so but i've been through this and i know that i see what's happening and i know sometimes how to you know i try to let it out speak it out and you know deal with it but did you get to it, the point sorry did, did you get to the point and say enough is enough not because yet. sometimes people don't stop not yet they push you until ax you're I, on the verge of breaking i think i'm finding ways yeah, to protect to, yourself to, to protect, protect, protect myself mm. and to also kind of accept to be a punching bag and also no. not in a bad way i mean something to understand that you know what what i'm experiencing or what i've been through mm-hmm. um has taught me to look at things on different perspective and sometimes the person you might be with doesn't and try and help out and you know take it in and stuff but yeah at some point you have to you have to let it out because what what being the punching bag is what society favors because now you cool what about the missile the fresh i could say what about until when you know so can we normalize now no can we normalize saying no saying no i cannot be a punching bag anymore sometimes you don't know you're being a punching bag Are you feeling it just happens it gets to a point where you have to protect yourself definitely you have to protect your peace you have to say no I cannot oh can you uh take this person to Kibuye and please do this and this and this no I don't know about my hands No I mean it's 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 within me to try and you know so those are are the aftermath maybe yeah, later That's an example Kuko, yeah Sometimes you don't even know what you're going to see and you 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 know you're thinking a different image and then mm. just something else you know something different and then you deal with it later and then the fact that also you know um the right thing to do is to keep it in within you but that was just an example but that's everyone else like if you want to be you know that that nibyo twemera nibyo ha bigezweho nibyo you cool but it comes back if you're not able to realize that that's what's happening to you that's when it kills you even more so nigute rero twa 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 kindura icyo kintu cyangwa simitekereza vuga ngo ntabwo it's not cool to be secretive because what what you keep it inside of you kills you from the inside mm. you know how do we normalize like do we do you, could we maybe launch um talking sessions and yeah there could be now you you said it uh kigal is so small or wrong is so small mm-hmm. if i go to a, if we normalize the talking phases and to duhura tukavuga nicho ikibi nuko nigeze kubaza kuri kuri twitter ndabaza ngo is there aa meetings alcoholic anonymous kuko alcohol is not you know it's not a joke there's uh, oh, actually have being an alcoholic it's also a disease it's, yeah. a, it's a horrible condition to have kan bitangira mvuga ko ari yo psychologist slowly 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 umuna umuna arandika aransubiza kuri kiravuga ngo imagine having uh, an alcoholic anonymous anonymous the reason why they put anonymous is because whatever that has been talked into that into that room hi how are you i'm kezda i'm alcohol it does not have to be talked outside you don't repeat it mm. either to your family to your you don't repeat it because that's a secretive this is where people come and say this is what i'm fighting with mm-hmm. hi i'm an alcoholic um uga sharing the story ya wewe ukavuga kuno you know you've won the you stopped drinking 7 years ago you're proud of yourself but you get to a point where you want to drink again that's an example umuna suza ruga ngo imagine having an aa meeting in kigali when everybody knows everybody so it could be like a joke and that's where the problem lies yes know? having that trust issues yes but anyways we have to find we have to find 
for me, I'm still thinking mm. insurance is actually covering a therapist. Mm. You know, Hajira was a therapist, mentioned Murugwanda, our therapist, Kumashuri, especially high school, Kokoni Gavana Watanjira could deal with whatever they're going through. Um, there's childhood trauma, we didn't even talk about this, uh, you know. Nidio Joseph is a Kagaruka Kutami depression, we fit him Yakingahe. Um, therapist in schools, therapist in, I don't know, hospitals, therapist, no, no, at least they become much easier to access. You know, there's a therapist that I can see to mm. talk to. Because I don't think the group thing, yeah. as we said in Kigali, but, can yeah. work that well. I think the long-term solution will have to, in my opinion, it's, it's finding out the cause and knowing why do we have it in the first place before resulting to to therapists and psychologists and stuff. Yeah. And that's why I think it goes back to the way we live our lives and and culture maybe. It's very presentable, it's very presentable, it's very normal, like the childhood traumas and the um, depression in school. There yeah. was a kid, I think it was like 11 or 13 who took his life. Yes. I don't even know he understood what it was, but maybe Mm. Not dismissing yes. people when they yes, see when they say when they're seeking you know, for you to listen. In a in a different manner yeah. than what's normal, no you know. Uh, and, this, and and especially, you know, sounding being emotional is weak and weak is not So yeah. how can we how can it be normal, you know, being because like sometimes men 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 are not not all men are strong, huh? Yeah. You know, there's some dudes that uh, don't even want to be strong, you know, they don't wanna even look strong. They, they wanna look strong. They wanna be, you know, men, but there's no category like are you are you are you strong or are you weak? And they don't wanna be weak as well. Yeah. You know, and then they we don't we don't we don't find a place where we can go and say, you know, this is what I'm going through and where do I fit? Mm. And uh, and the issue of not having where to fit also aggravates Cause you, yeah. your... Because your, so, you think you're going through that alone. Yep. Which is what uh, depression does. It's lonely because you don't want to share. And even if you share, you think people are not listening to you. And you mm. also think, this is, this is me alone. Yeah. So, for example, uh, I went through it without going to a, to a psychologist, but I think I, I did a lot of research. Mm. Research, read a lot on it. And my first, my first step, you know, that process was knowing how and why and what is it, you know, Nietzsche. And then it's not also easy, huh? coming out of it, I mean, it takes a lot of like efforts, yeah. rituals. I'm going to start doing this differently. Because now you're used to that survival. <laughs> yes. Ariko yo bari na yo haruko niba yarabaye programmed. Yamenyereye kugikoresha ukagishira ngo ukigende. Oh, it's called it crippled. And then before you, before you know it, a hundred cups are there and yes. you don't know where to start by cleaning it and then it becomes, you know, it piles up. So yeah. I think um, breaking the silence on it, talking about it, describing it and then Starting from there now, trying to deal with it might even prevent having a whole lot of because sometimes also psychologists can be overwhelmed. Yeah, you know, if we little mm. muzuraho, that's why I suggested you know what I'm thinking is uh, we're parents, mm. uh, differently according to their emotions, it's a horrible thing. Mm. Now, I have a son, and when he's sad. I tell him to express to his emotions. Mm. If he wants to cry, I will let him cry. Why are you crying? You're such a, you're a grown boy. You big boys don't but cry. But actually, how was how was going through that with 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 a child? It's horrible. Yeah, it's horrible. But he's he's a good kid, so he understood. He didn't understand, but yeah, he's eleven now. And how do you tell an eleven? Year old boy who is sad, who wants to show you this is what's making me sad. But we, yeah, I won, yes. did but he notice it? When I was sick, he did notice it. 
but he had a lot of questions. That time he was just five. But I'm talking about right now, which is I still go through medicals and everything. And if I have like a scare, I have to share it with him. I, I We're open. We talk about everything. But like how did he take that? Was he able to process that at, at his young age? Mm, yeah, a little bit. He didn't really. Right now, this, this is when he understands. Mm -hmm. But now in an everyday life, uh, and he's sad. I, I let him feel sad, cry, and tell me how he's feeling. We talk about those feelings and then we progress. You do not dismiss and shame because that's when they start keeping quiet. So I'm telling you how we can prevent our kids maybe to get the depression and seek therapists when they're 20. But you can be his therapist right now. Absolutely Start not. Start training him. That's what I'm talking about. So when... I don't know if I'm going to No, I'm going to say something. I'm going to say something. Men up. That's the thing. You know, when you're shaming them, you're going to say something. I'm going to say something. I'm going to say Yeah. You know? When, me, when I'm sad and when I feel like I really need to cry, I need to cry. It's a cleanse. Yeah. You cry, you get over it, their feelings, they will pass. Men but then, Men when you put cry. them inside, that's what happens. Yeah. Next time something happened to you, your, his first heartbreak, when it happens... He had one already? No, 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 no. Oh, I'm okay. saying when, okay. maybe when he's yeah. 17. Yeah. He goes into depression Even at 17 14. or 14. No, God forbid. 17. <laughs> I had my first one when I was 12. I believe you. And then, he doesn't talk when he's 17. He starts maybe hating women because he thinks all girls are like that. Because he doesn't want to talk about it. And that's when everything just goes down. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Expressing. Like letting our kids talk to us. Mama, I'm sad. Yeah. Okay, what's going on? Yeah. Not, ah, you'll be fine. That's something else that also, that's causing us problems. Cause because I don't think we grew up like that, Simba, in our generation. Oh. We didn't grow up like that. Like, you're okay. sad. How can you do that? And that's sometimes is is mental health because mm. when you are going to be able to do that, you can't do that. 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 So, on that topic, I have, um, I've seen something else where it's, it's, it's difficult for us men to, to communicate and get along with women because we don't. We don't connect on that, you know, emotional level and have that um, share feelings. You know, we want to be tough and you guys are more expressive. Do you think that's also um, affecting our marriages and love? Absolutely. Relationships? Yes. Mm. You don't want to tell your wife what's going on. Who are you going to tell? You don't want to confide in her or I don't know. You feel like you, you're actually better telling your friends who are yeah. male. Yeah. Or maybe your wife is going to shame you. I don't know. But th that's affecting a lot, a lot of couples. So you think that um, we should start being, express herself and be weak in the bedroom or in the, in the house when just me and her? And, and I think communi communication is important. Yeah. But communication has to be a two-way, you know, road. I can't be telling you what's going on with me all the time. You know, like I'm emptying my cup to you. But you're not doing the same to me. Yeah. But I think we have to understand that um, it takes two to tango. I think you got to understand that we're physical and take it easy with us. But I also need to acknowledge that you're also emotional. And uh, um, funny enough, I'm also emotional. But yes. I fight it, like we were saying earlier. So, so why do they call women emotional beings? Because you express your feelings more often and, and your emotions all the time. Actually on a daily or hourly basis and we don't if we do well once a week but then again that's what comes back and you know um because mm. relationships yeah so do you think that if we start if men start expressing themselves emotionally and um, um feeling wise do you think would you be any different yeah there needs to be space especially in, mar in marriages or relationships where a man or a woman is able to share what's going on. I could on that. Okay. There is need. There is that space needs to be, because if we are married, and I can share, 
and you cannot, then there's a problem. There's a huge problem. Yeah. Sharing, it's not about, oh, my day was like this. This is what, no. Babe, this is what's happening. I'm not okay. I need to probably see a therapist or I need some time off from work. Like, what is going on really deeply? Like and they see, have to be that space. So I think Haruku, it's creative. No. Haruku, no, we learn, they say we learn best by um, examples and seeing mm -hmm. rather than hearing words. So for example, how to say, I'm going to say, Musaza, ataha, ba mukora gafiri tuke, kari hariya. Kusahani. Kusahani, naka 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 shi mukumu tse. He walks past. Hmm. Nigo, nigo. Does his thing and then goes to bed. Like we, and that's how men supposed to be. You know, supposed to be, you know, tough, no jokes. Nah, you know, bjin shi mire mute meze gute kiss bizu bizu shiri meze gute. Ucha. So now, how do you? Now, you see, I'm now me. I must do different from yeah. what. What I was doing is you gave you now, oh, yeah, yeah. So, room, but I'm not going to ring and you know, cool to Jen Zaboro or because, but not convishimam, not quite a boom vishimam, you know. And you have to understand that it's where we come from, yeah. But then, how do we fight it because it doesn't work for us anymore? Because now, I mean, it's you, our childhood. How do yeah. we fight it though? We let our kids be better. Mm. Acknowledging it, that's the first thing that we're going to do as a society. Accepting, mm. acknowledging but like that saying, depression. We learn best by example, you know, yeah. by seeing. Yeah. So if you want to teach your kids, that means you, you have, you to, have, have, have to, to do it yourself. Yes. You have to have a, 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 um, a healthy relationship with yes. whoever you're with and let them see. But how, how is that for you, for example, as, as, as Keza? For me, I... How's your relationship with um, Rob? With, oh, maybe. It's, it's quite interesting, actually. Because, so after I, I, I saw my therapist, I was like, I, this is a lot to share. And I actually became my own therapist. I read a lot. I started reading, started writing. And I spent a lot of time alone. And mm. um, I share with him. He listens. He's a very good listener. Mm. I hope that's what you guys like. Huh? Yes, he's a good listener who will not judge. Mm. You need someone who will not judge you, encourage you, and not um, and not make you like feel you're guilty over things that you're talking about. Mm. You know, it's it's a it's a traumatic experience. That sometimes there are a lot of things that I've not shared with him, but he knows every. You know, it it just comes slowly by slowly. Mm. He also has his own life, whatever that he went through. And I created a space for him to feel safe, to tell me whatever he wants. Because mm -hmm. he knows it's not getting out. But you create a space in a relationship. But, whatever that you want to say. Yeah. Yeah. By him showing you that, that side of him, that vulnerable yeah. side of him, being... The vulnerability. Yeah. Do you see him as less of a man? It was, it's, it's the most, um, how do I call it? It's the most manly thing to do. Really? Because one, we know you're human beings. Two, women, we know, we see it. Three, when you want to share and I give you that space and you become very vulnerable and you say whatever that you want to say without me even judging you, there's a connection that just binds us, you know? This is, it's, it's beautiful. It's just like... So you're telling me that to be weak, to show my it's spouse, not actually, to show my, it's not my, being weak. You know, my girlfriend. You think it'll actually bind us more? Yes. Huh. <laughs> Try it. Because imagine I'm being vulnerable with you. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you what's going on with me. You're listening. You're giving me your hope. 100% listening. Okay. I'm not forcing you to talk. Mm -hmm. I, I won't force you to talk. We'll go through life. And then one time you just, you just know when your person is going through, you're like, hey, what's up? What's going on? Oh, I'm good. No. What's really going on? Oh, so you, you dig it out of him? You ask. Okay. okay. Do you want to share? Do you want to share? 
What if I'm he doesn't here. share a couple of times? If Confer- he doesn't create- want to share immediately, you don't force. You're like, oh, okay. Whenever mm. you want to talk, I'm free. I t- believe but you. But once I break and talk, you believe, believe you, it makes things Umba, better. Than be out of nowhere. So we're out of nowhere for a coffee or in the morning or I don't know. Pillow talk. Just want, just starting sharing. So because in my head I know he's probably sharing whatever he, he did not want to tell me, my full attention has to listen. Ask, how are you feeling about it? What do you think I can do to help? Um, do you need space? What, what do I do to help as your partner? Mm. Oh, no, no, I'm okay. I just want to talk about this. Perfect. Do you still need to share? You create that sacred space to just share. Cool. I believe it's a new, it's a new, it's a whole new lesson to learn. Because no, surprisingly, we were no more it was something like ni rule. Ariko you have to be tough to survive. Yeah. Today. We don't really, you don't necessarily have to be tough physically to survive, you know? You can be on social media and take selfies and you become an influencer to survive. That too. But you see, but you see, um, my father, my grandfather, my great grandfather, you know? Yeah. It was, it was, these things didn't make sense, Mm. you know? Like, it's it's like on the, um, what is it called again? Uh, The Maslow's Pyramid of Needs. Mm-hmm. You, you can't you can't worry about your feelings and your emotions and mental health if you're hungry. When you're hungry, oh, you don't have a roof. We don't have a bed and all that. So them, when I go up, you touch your phone, you need room. Well, I have to, you know, that struggle. How come that they still went through it? Of course they did, mm. but but they didn't address it because there was no time for that. There was more important stuff to to attend to. How could you then go? Would you entertaining? Give you give you. But today. We're not going through the same, you know, the same issues today. Today yeah. we we better off. Can we still ignore our feelings like they did, or can we attend to it and deal with it and address it to I think today we're we're going through it mentally and emotionally, because and it doesn't not, choose who. Yeah, we try we we're trying to address it mm. in the same methods they did. But in different times, it, it won't work. Yeah. Because we the generation. So we can't have the same uh, approach to this issue. Mm. So then we have to say, So it's 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 a different time. Yeah. That that we're living. We should find now new approach. New ways to, to approach address it. because now it's relevant. Yes. To to talk about it, it's worth now. You know, seeking help and talking about it and normalizing it because if you don't, you, you can see it's killing us because yeah. I mean, we're in a fast growing, you know, economy and things mm. are changing, things keep changing. And you know, we're not, we don't really embrace change. No. You know, yeah. as, as humans, you know. And, um, and unfortunately, that's the purpose of life it's development. We have to keep going, keep going, keep going. So, how do we, you know, be smart about it and say, we have to talk about such things we have to have these sessions we have to substitute kuva ku kazuga cha mukaruka mu byiri rero gutahinda kuva mu karuka zinywera handi uganira cyangwa sukamenya ko nazo shaka kwaze gutekereza cyo mutwe kwanza mbanze ngikemure nzongere kugaruka kunywa kamwe tubiri so it's 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 that whole you know balance that we have to find and and um, but i feel that we 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 we're going somewhere yeah it, it's um mm, mm. so you and this is actually great because you mm. 
social media does incredible things it's, you know it's beautiful it's, it's uh, amazing it's, yes so you know, technologies if, yes it's amazing right so when people start to talk about it um address the issues coffee yeah address the issues write about it um there's there's a few people who actually write about it yeah. so maybe java and wasa vivinzi mental health issues to come in yako mental health is not no i don't think they don't think you're going to go on chane chane murubjiruko ariko haruko no 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 uburyo cyangwa impamvu dukora ibyo dukora ari umuco kandi sometimes atari umuco ahubwo ari 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 ibihe kandi buri atuvuze no kumuco i think ko umuco ari ari nokuntu no murongo uyobora abantu uko baba uko babaho mu gihe runaka mu gihe runaka so hari 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 umuco wayoboraga grand père wange cyo gihe cyangwa so umufashaga kuba mu bihe bye uyu munsi utaki Hey, mucho is such a mucho is such a, eh, it's a big 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 topic it is it is but the thing is but why do we mix it i feel like every time hajemo you know mental health mucho has um, a big mucho has a big on yeah, effect health. on that ariko nyine ikintu ikintu eh njya mbona tuganira naba nabandi tukibagirwa no kumucukura umucura kuko umucura kura yes kandi umuco tugendera uyu munsi no bakurambere bacu yeah bakwari ibintu bikurana n'umuco aho nibyo tudashaka ko bikurana n'umuco ntago turi nyimaswa na none tumushyiraho murongo utugenda tugarura ariko twibagirwa natwe nuko muri president yacu muri leta yacu natwe turabakurambere babazaza mu myaka 200 iri imbere so turi gukona ishingano zacu cyangwa twa twa dwelinze kuvya abakurambere bacu tukibaje gukora ibyacu like for example i was thinking hari nk'ibyo batakoze kuko bitari bihari ntago twabarenganya bakubya barabikoze na dukora ibyacu mm. for example hari hari mu mushyarwanda na na jambo ryi hotel dufite acha kwa google when i was trying to open my mm. sanga nsongo i hotel ariko ntago barenga icyo gihe na hotel yabagaho nase bari gwimbi bintu batazi mm. frigo ntago ibyo mu kinyarwanda yeah. niki mu kinyarwanda ibintu byinshi microwave um Ishush. ijante yo kumodoka so ibyo byose <gasps> ntago oh. bihari kansuwa ngo nuko the were the were poor or they didn't take time to to kuhimba nuko bitabagaho yeah. but today birahari can we take that uh, responsibility to to kabaye amazina tukanabona ko that's just an example hari nibindi byinshi nkabyo bijyanye n'igihe cy'uyu munsi tukagombye gufatira umwana ko tutoki iki kingi kiratubangamiye cyangwa se kiraturemereye turadiringa nacyo gutya abakurambere badinze nacyo gutya cyara basovinga in that time I don't most doesn't serve us anymore for example we were kumva gatado waryari nukunda kubi tado kandi kara kajambo kagezwe kirangiye ko bugasaga koreshwaga ariko uyu munsi ahubwo wumva iki wumva ya indi zunguruka gutya 360 yeah the one that you put your phone on and like it does the whole na dibya na posting akuri ig na nani bafite ya izunguruka gutya you know that and you know so things like that you know adapting to our time i think it will help us greatly you know yeah we need to adapt with our, our culture grows we need to understand that yes. language grows yes it's going to be to you must we chana nabo ntumvye baravuga yeah you don't understand kaba vuga ikinyarwanda yes yeah yeah and also nago um njya bona kenshi abantu kuri kuri twitter cyangwa kuri social media bavuga ngo mental health cyangwa se depression ngo numuhago ngo umuntu abayahaze my friend i hope nuza ntaguza hagaga gutyo because ntaga ari umuhago but it could be coming from somebody who still probably does not take it serious yeah cyangwa yeah. se on that maslow's pyramid of needs who still but do we have to go through something to actually accept it's horrible um being rational and critical thinkers no being ignorant or uneducated Yes maybe but we don't have to and now we we you know we know na gurumva umujya bavuga ngo mwa yirirwa mu cyumba yirikara mu cyumba ntaje soka ari kongera kuri ya literally depressed harya yirwa ryamye amaze nk'icyumwe rumunzu ariko hopefully 
you know, we're getting some. That's so, the question. Keza, hmm? with your experience and your story and everything you've been through, you know, I didn't go really deep into it. Yeah. Um, there's always, there'll always be a better, you know, a next time. But what advice would you give a young woman or a young lady who's going through what you went through, who's got maybe suffering from um, cancer and um, mental health as well? What what message would you give them? Message of hope or personal, you know? Well, specifically, someone who could be going through cancer. Clinically, sick Western imiti, um, you know? Ichizumubiri and chemotherapy, radiation, whatever. Um, I, and just know there is there is hope in whatever that is going through. There is hope. Now, for anybody who could be going through depression, traumatic experiences, because that's what actually cancer creates. It just turns you into someone else. You don't go through cancer and then come out as a yeah. normal person. Yeah. It just flips you. But thank God, I believe it flipped me in a, in a, you know, in a, in a better way. And then you came back out. Uswala no kuri Twitter ora tuika. Hari ko ufite pinya. Tureve. Like the last time I left. Mm. Anyway, so clinically you seek help, and it actually kabuchi za is, you know, but emotionally and mentally it leaves you with a horrible traumatic experience that you have to adapt to live with. I literally live with it. I could wake up one day and I'm like, is it back? And I panic. So I have to go back to the doctors. The doctors are like, you were here three weeks ago. I'm like, no, you have to check. Probably it's coming. Because cancer is a creepy, it's a creepy. No, it could be in your body. It's you know, making rounds, looking what's going on here. Mm-hmm. And you would not know. Six months, you would not know until. The it thought of it already is crippling. Like so, yeah, it's 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 crippling. It's it's horrible. That's what it really broke me when uh, Buravan died. May he rest in peace. Because mm. it crept on him. Yeah. You know, it crept on you. So imagine living without experience of yeah. thinking. Yeah. This this creepy would creep on me and come back. God forbid. So I pray so much. I'm not a church person. Mm-hmm. I have my ways of praying. I keep positive. Yeah. Really. Yeah. Um, body like kumuvidi na that is of course. I'm mm-hmm. doing great. I'm healthy, but mentally is an everyday, everyday war that I have to keep on uh, being positive. Um, you know, chilling with people like you. We're talking about great things. Thank you. Thank you. Staying away from negativity. Oh. Staying away from things that can take me back to the darkness, which is yeah. very easy yeah. sometimes. Yeah. And um and taking myself yeah. mentally to take care of myself mentally. If yeah. something is taking away my peace, seeing that I will get grab my hand back and I will leave. I don't argue about anything. So you it it's I learned how yeah, yeah. I, it's part of my rituals. I learned how to protect myself. Mm-hmm. If there's something taking me back to where I was, I will not entertain it. I will just leave. So you actually fight to take care of yourself, mentally especially, and emotionally, That's and just way. know it's it's a phase. Things, yeah. yeah, things come and go, sickness come and go. Sometimes yeah. it's that which yes, but when you survive it, you have to learn how to live mm-hmm. as, as a survivor. Yeah, yeah, man. That's that, I don't even know what to say, man. I mean. I thought it was tough, and but like help. when I heard you and your story, if you get I a felt chance to get a therapist, small, yeah. seek help, even online therapists. Yeah, yeah, seek help. I think I think we need to normalize that, get and it's okay, you know, friend. it's okay. Talk to your friend. You know, I yeah. thought I have a friend who's a, you know, psychologist, and I knew I'm going to go to Tambaza Kuleri, Yamboksa, Takuwaza, Oriichi. You mean it's like what we're talking? You yeah. know, it's nothing, it's nothing so crazy. Someone and, asking you, are you enjoying your coffee? Yes. How does it make you feel? But it's dangerous <laughs> if, if if they go away and then... Imagine you look around and look at it. Simba, do you like your coffee? Yes. I love it. I think I'm going to be a therapist. Mm. I will. 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 No, 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 no. I will. I will. I will. I will. How is your coffee? How is your coffee? You like it? Yes. So, so then they wait and ask you, how does it make you feel? So you mm. start digging into your feelings. Yeah. How a coffee makes you feel. Yeah. 
Can you no, let it out? Yeah, but I still want to be tough. Can you start healing? I still want to be, you know, a goon. You're still tough. <laughs> with whatever but, you went through, you shared a little bit yeah. with me one yeah. time, I think. And I still will. I still will. But I never thought there was life. something weak about you. Mm. I did not think. I was like, I was actually really, remember, I was, I'm so proud of you. I'm going to come and Thanks, visit man. you. We, you know through. everything. You're showing me Pull pictures. Blah, blah, blah. I was so proud of you. Thanks, I man. never thought there was a weakest link. Well, I don't think, I don't think, uh, well, at the time, I thought, I thought I was being <clears> weak, <throat> you know, and it took me a lot of courage. But now, I don't think it's weakness, you know, because I've seen, Strength. I've seen, and, uh, and it's fruits, you know. I've yeah. seen how I felt better with, without ignoring that side of, of me because, you know, always leave two lives, you know, you have the, you know, outside and the inner, you know, and I was always, I was taking care of the outside, huh? Mm. I was getting my hair cut, I was going to the gym, I was, you know, trying, the dressing nice, I got pinyango kaze, but <laughs> the inside, it was dismissed. Yeah. It was dismissed. And then when those problems come, when you lose your position that you thought you were attached to and <laughs> made you a man, when it was taken away, you f- and then that's when you fall apart. You, you fall apart because, and you can't help yourself because the inner part that's supposed to, to protect you, to keep you strong mentally, is what I was, I had, like I hadn't trained. Yes. It wasn't strong, it was dismissed. weak. Dismissed. You know, I had dismissed it and it was weak itself. Yeah. And, and yeah, so coming back on you, um, on your situation, I mean, I'm a lover of technology. Like, Mbanumva, Nidjari, we're going to get to a point where we can actually detect cancer. Like, as soon as it develops, like, you know, like flu, Changwa say, if I can call it, like, who's, who's, a, who's a genius in technology? When it develops, you got You know? But I think with technology, yeah. Kind of question. I think so. It's I would advise to especially women to just go through scans. You can go through a scan. Mm-hmm. There's a year Arimia Kujeramo, you do breast scan breast cancer yeah. scan or cervix. Uh we have you know But have faith. You... I have faith. <laughs> And I think when I get there, you know, have faith. Have faith. Yeah. So we have a culture on Vanilla Taboo where our guest challenges the next guest on um, something, whatever. It can be a challenge, could be a question, anything. And you are our first guest. Always the first, not the last. Always, always, always. The next person. So the next person Mm -hmm. challenge. Mm -hmm. I don't know who you are, but I want you to Mm -hmm. think a little bit about this. It's a challenge because it's all it's surrounding mental health. So what would you tell your younger 17 year old? Nice. When you were 17 years old. And right now, I don't know how old you are, but what would you tell? him or her they advise not deeply advise because 17 is wild but what would you tell him or her Mm-mm-mm. as uh i believe you're probably you know someone going to be exposed yeah. so that's the challenge i mean thank you very much for sharing your story i mean thank you it's also another sign of strength i mean coming up here and being able to 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 encourage the next person to speak you know um and speaking from your own personal story, not something you've read somewhere or you've heard somewhere, and um, allowing to come up and, and, and inspire the next, you know, the yeah. next young girl to say, whatever you go through, it's it's okay, and you can discuss about it. You can own it. It doesn't yeah. it doesn't have to own you, you know. And yeah, I want to thank you very much, man. Thank you Even so much. Even though it's coffee, cheers. Yeah, cheers. Thank you for inviting me. It's always a pleasure. Mm-hmm. What I'm taking home after this episode with Keza is that there's nothing manly about suffering in silence. Nobody knows the magnitude of your suffering except you yourself. If you have time, if you're not too proud, if it's all right with you, please seek help. Catch you on the next episode. Thank you for being with us.